Prince Harry, 33, and Meghan Markle, 36, are en route to Cardiff for the third public engagement together. Royal couple set to arrive in the Welsh capital to a tumultuous welcome from cheering and flag-waving fans. Besotted Harry has made a promise to his bride-to-be to undertake visits across the UK before their wedding. Excited royal fans have been gathering outside Cardiff Castle since 7.30 am to catch a glimpse of the pair. Royal bride-to-be Meghan Markle has got a taste of British train travel today as she and her fiancé Prince Harry are running late for an engagement in Cardiff. US-born Miss Markle and Harry left Paddington Station on time at 11.15am en route for Cardiff. But delays to the GWR train mean they will not arrive into the Welsh capital until well after 2pm, making them at least half an hour late for the third public engagement as a couple. Besotted Harry, 33, has made a promise to his bride-to-be to undertake visits across the UK. Before their wedding, to give the actress a chance to see the country she will come to call home and meet its people. A GWR spokesman said they could not comment on individual travellers but explained that trains to Cardiff were delayed because of a network rail infrastructure issue, namely a points failure at Ducat, which has impacted services. The couple will start their day at the historic Cardiff Castle, one of the country's most important and popular historical sites and Meghan Mania saw royal supporters queuing outside from 6 a.m. The first fan waiting to meet them was Jenna Quilter, 18, from Creegi, who arrived at 6.30 am. She said, it's fascinating that she's not the typical person you'd expect to become a future duchess and it's just really interesting to see the public reaction to her. I'm a big fan of the royals mainly the Duchess of Cambridge but I adore Prince Harry. I think Harry and Meghan represent a more modern society and it keeps some of the British traditions alive. I've got some roses for Meghan too. Abby Smith, visiting from Louisiana, added, in America this is like a fairy tale. I think it's really cool that she's from the States and gets to experience the royal lifestyle as well. Royal superfans Anne Daly, 60, and her sister Julie, 53, were there from 7.30 am with their dog Camilla. Anne, from Landaff, said, we follow them everywhere. We will be there at the royal wedding we have always done it since we were little girls because our father was in the Irish Guards. And they wanted to ask Ms Markle to have her hen party in Cardiff. We have brought a bride to be sash and veil for her and some L plates and we can take her on a tour of all the Cardiff nightclubs, said Ms Daly. We could get a new Duke and Duchess of Abergavenny or somewhere. It should hopefully strengthen our relationship with America. June Haas, from Landaff brought Harry and Ms Markle a Welsh love spoon made from pewter to celebrate their upcoming wedding. The custom of carving and giving love spoons dates back centuries in Wales, with young men gifting them as a token of their affection. It is engraved with a Welsh dragon, daffodils and wedding bells, Mrs Haas said. Prince Harry has always been special to the people who have lived through the Diana years, as I have. I just want to see him happy, and to see her. It is a great atmosphere here. Eleanor Davies, 63, from Haverford West, Pembrokeshire, said, I've seen other members of the royal family before but not Harry. It is so exciting to have them in Wales. Iris Bishop, 60, Linda Newbert, 67, and Pamela Lloyd, 68, all from Cardiff, held the Welsh flag and wore dragon brooches for the visit. I think it is lovely that they thought to come here before their marriage, Mrs Bishop said. It is an early gift for us we are big royal fans.
Camilla the 10-year-old Cavalier King Charles Spaniel wore a headband with American flags on, as well as a veil, 